In today's really short video, I'm going to show you how the throttle linkages hook up on an older Tecumseh engine. This is an old Craftsman Tecumseh. To show you what's going on, I'm going to take off this shroud, the air filter, and this breather tube to get a little better look in there. Nope, my name's not Mick. I'm the lawnmower lady, and I like fixing small engines. Some Tecumseh engines have a uh, like a throttle plate on top of here what these two bosses are it would connect onto that some of you might say well why don't you just remove all this shroud but i don't do that because you have to remove the recoil starter then this shroud gas tank and a lot of these things are just going into really thin sheet metal and i just don't want to strip those holes out so that's why i'm not doing it here it's easy enough to do on this one without taking it all off so you sort of have to do it on the other one we use a flashlight in here to help shoot inside of here so you can see but basically the Throttle linkage assembly attaches to this governor arm right here. It's on a spring, and as the engine revs and finds its happy place, it will regulate that throttle speed right there. But the easy way to remember this is there is a solid wire, okay, that has a bend in it, up and then down and then back up again. This has a 180-degree bend to the top. It goes in the top hole, okay, and it goes down, up and over, and then into the throttle plate, there's only a 90 degree bend on that. And you wanna make sure you know which hole that comes out of when you disassemble it. The other one only has an L bend on there, and that goes under and behind the solid one, attaches to a spring, and then that spring attaches to a plate that's actually bendable. You can bend that plate to actually adjust your RPMs. Please, uh, don't over rev your engine. I've seen a lot of people blow up engines that way. You need to go online and figure out what the maximum RPM is on these guys. I want to say it's something like, you know, 3,400 RPM or something. You don't want them over like 3,000, 3,100. Put the breather tube back on there. This square tab goes in that little slot right there. Make sure they all align. Get a quarter of a turn, make sure it's snug on there. Get a little shroud going on top. Can't stress this enough. Uh, start stuff by hand. Get all your screws started. Don't cross thread anything. This is thin sheet metal. And don't over torque these. Just snug. Now, if your machine is one of these really older craftsmen, uh, I believe they call this the Eager One machine it the configuration is slightly different the difference is the ones that have this throttle plate on here okay uh, i think there you can see the bosses on that older style carburetor but i'll show you what's under here it's the exact opposite so you can see the spring the bottom of the spring attaches to the governor arm and the little extension linkage goes to the throttle plate itself to adjust that and then the other linkage itself that goes to the top of the governor arm, actually attaches to the throttle plate. I'm not gonna take the plate off right there, but it attaches to the throttle plate. Here's the old version, and here's the new version. And if you have a soft spot in your heart for old Tecumseh's like I do, you'll like this video right here. Mo happy.